Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherry Nawahid with the top news of the day. The CID has found evidence of involvement of Mamunul Hogg, the Joint Secretary General of the organization, in the sabotage of Hifazat Islam in Narangon's demanding cancellation of the visit of the Indian Prime Minister. The agency remanded him in custody for further investigation. Meanwhile, the Deputy Commissioner of Tejka Division said that Mamunul Haq had a plan to seize state power by using the students of the madrasa. Hefaza's Joint Secretary General Mamunul Haq, who is in remand with the police special branch, is said to have given some information. At the last 24 hours, 91 people have died in the country and 4,559 new patients have been identified. This information was given in the regular notification of the Director General of Health Services on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Cabinet Division has issued a circular extending the ongoing strict lockdown on coronavirus infection control for one more week. According to the circular, the lockdown will continue till April 28. However, special flights will continue in the midst of this severe lockdown. The movement of vehicles on the road is still noticeable. People are going out without need. In terms of hygiene rules, people wear masks, but social distance is not observed in the markets. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called upon the countries who produce COVID vaccines to produce assistance to those countries which do not. She made the call at the inaugural ceremony of the Boro Forum for Asia on Tuesday. Sheikh Hasina also urged all countries to work together to make the United Nations and other international organizations effective in meeting the demand for vaccines and other medical devices. Chinese President Xi Jinping also spoke on the occasion. COVID-19 vaccines should be declared as global public goods. Countries producing the vaccines should help others produce the vaccine with a view to attaining universal vaccine coverage. Domestic flights will be limited on Wednesday. There will also be regular international flights to six countries, including China and five in the Middle East. Apart from migrant workers, ordinary passengers can go to these countries from Bangladesh. The director of Hazar Shahjal International Airport announced the new decision on Tuesday. Apart from Singapore, 15 special flights were introduced to five countries in the Middle East to bring the expatriates back to work. Nine Bangladeshis have been included in Forbes list of Asia's under 30 entrepreneurs and social changers for the first time this year. The influential U.S. magazine Forbes on Tuesday published a list of 300 young people in the Asian region under the age of 30 who have contributed to various sectors of society in 2021. Bangladeshis on the year's list have been listed for their contribution to technology, entrepreneurship, social impact, retail and e-commerce. And that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.